Um, so most of people say that uh, German sounds so harsh, not just because of the language itself, but also the, the characteristic, like, you know, very strict. Yeah. You know, is that true? Um, for the older generations, it is. It, it really is. And because the older generations really tend to be like that, I feel like most of them, they are just like focused on themselves. Also, I think work life, for example, is just work life. They are not there to make friends, you know. Um, so they just go there for work and they are happy when they can leave and live their own life. And that's similar on the streets, for example, like when you uh, take the bus or whatever. You are not really kind to each other, you don't really smile, you're just like... Be sure uh, mm, I think Japanese people are more... are friendlier still. I think so, yeah, to me at least. Like, Japanese people were the nicest people I've ever seen. Like, also in the services, in the services. Um, mm. Like, they try their best. And like, for example, when you ask someone in the supermarket in Japan, um, where something is, they start running. They're trying to like not waste your time and they try to help you as fast as possible. Whereas in Germany, they don't really care as much. Like when they don't know where something is, they're like, oh, mm, I don't know. And then they just leave and you're like, okay. <laughs> oh, that's another difference. Germans can be very emotionally, but rather with negative emotions. So I feel like if they are happy or something, they just share that with family and friends. I think they would not really talk to everyone about it because it's um, just their own business basically. But I feel like if they have a bad day, then they kind of have to, they cannot control it to hide it. So they just show it to everyone. It depends. I think it's good to show emotions and um, I'm, I'm very honest and um, oh yeah another thing of Germans is we are very direct. Germans are very direct and that can be painful sometimes and I don't like this too much because my parents we are all very sensitive with words and with behavior so so I was raised not to be super direct for example, if you get invited to a party and Japanese people cannot come, they say like tabun or like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll see. But it sounds like, for me, it sounds so positive. I think like, oh, they're definitely coming, right? But, and, and that's something I kind of dislike in Japan because if, you know, if you cannot come, that's fine, but I just want to know. Um, I, I had that once. <laughs> Um, I friends invited to my birthday party in Japan and like one girl didn't show up but she said she's, she was coming so I was like oh wait we all should wait for, for her and my Japanese friends they, they looked at the chat and they were like ah she's maybe not coming and I'm like what do you mean no she is she told me to uh, that she was coming and, and they were like mm, no maybe not and I was like oh, okay that's kind of odd to me because but I think in Germany it can be too direct they're like um no I can't yeah. Okay. So maybe, so maybe means no in Japan. Yeah. I I have learned that the hard way. So, Japanese guy, maybe. Mm-hmm. To a Japanese guy or to a, a German guy? Any country. If I didn't want to go on a date, but he's asking me out? Um, I think... I always try to be honest, but not hurt their feelings. So, um, but I don't want to give them false hope. Because I feel like that's not fair. Because they are, you know, they're hoping and they keep trying. Even though I know that I won't go on a date and... <laughs> I think that's not very nice because I think right now I'm not ready for going on dates with someone or something like that. It depends on my situation also. But yeah, something like that. I just try to get him out of the situation. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> really. Guys are trying to hit on someone and ask them out and, and, and some of them are so rude. Like they look at him like in a disgusted way and they're like, no, never or something. And that breaks my heart because I feel like if, you know, you need to take a lot of courage to, to go actually and to ask someone. And I think most of the people are really nervous when doing that. And then when you get like a no, not with you, then they're like, oh my gosh. I should not be asking anyone I'm bad or whatever you know that I think that can cause a lot of damage to that person and um, I appreciate that they try because I think that's that's a good thing to do but if I'm not ready or if I feel like I don't want to go then I I'm not saying maybe and then they are hoping and you know I think hope is really bad also if you keep hoping and then nothing happens that's just mean can you differentiate between, uh, let's say, Korean, Chinese, and Japanese, like Asian people? Can you tell? Yeah. I think I cannot tell between all Asian countries because I don't know them well enough, but I know, I know China, I know Korea, and I know Japan. Um, I've never been to China, but I have some Chinese friends. Um, I've been to Korea twice, and Japan I also know. I feel like they have different facial features that I can tell apart mm. and also their behavior. I feel like Korean people are slightly taller than Japanese people for example. Um I, I think so, definitely. And um also the facial features, but I don't know how to explain that. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> ポーランド人とかクウェットできますかえ、多分それはもともずかしい。多分できない。多分できない。できない。うん、多分できない。で、英語聞けばわかる。もし、is <笑> tell for sure I can kind of tell by their accent I think French people I can tell immediately because they have a they have their French accent German people I can tell by their English also they have also a specific <laughs> accent um, I don't want to make fun of them but maybe I'm um, mm, <laughs> no that's kind of mean I don't want to do it I don't want to get roasted in the comments or like yeah um, I think I think there are is just like uh, yeah like they don't speak the er uh, but like uh, French um I'm going I'm going to to work to work tomorrow 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 I think they'd say tomorrow yeah <laughs> oh really mm, really oh okay maybe <laughs> Uh, How does Japanese sounds to you? In if they speak English? No, no, the Japanese people speak Japanese. Oh that sounds oh. Oh. How does the sound to you? I, I love Japanese, it sounds beautiful to me. I love the language. It just sounds really nice and cute. And nice and, and cool also because they speak kind of fast. Mm. Yeah, rather than cute, I think it sounds cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cute and cool. Uh huh. It's really cool. It, there's a word chito hanbaiki, right? Chido hanbaiki. Ah, chido hanbaiki. That sounds cute, like the baiki at the end. Just sounds so cute like to me. Bike. Uh, <laughs> or like when they the um, katakana ego is really cute like I once went to the hair salon and they made my hair uh, ginger so it was like orange color and they said ah oh, kawaii orange and like orange to me it just sounds so cute orange orange mm, it's cute because there's always an eye at the end and I think 
for Germans it sounds super cute. If you have like an I at the end of a word, um, it's really cute because we tend to change words into a cuter way. Like for example, chocolate in German is Schokolade and a cute word for Schokolade is Schoki. So we abbreviate it a little bit and make it end with an I.